up and welcome back to my channel happy sunday i'm actually surprised i am recording two days in a row i did a grocery call and i cooked with me yesterday so i will link that um, in the card above if you haven't seen that already that video should be up um, before this one obviously um, so yeah today i will be doing a full day of eating um, i am still sipping on my cup of coffee um, i reheated it at least twice if you have kids you know the struggle um, I switched over to fat-free half and half and it actually is really not that bad so um, I'm actually enjoying it more than I thought I would be you guys just saw this morning I went ahead and worked out yesterday was Saturday I had a full day of work and I had grocery shopping as well so I didn't have time to work out and then my husband is studying um, downstairs so I figured I would go ahead and do a quick home workout um, I was kind of lazy so I just picked four exercises I did um, squats, I did uh, kettlebell swings, bent over row, and then some bicep curls. So I just repeated that off and on. And then I ended up with some hip thrusts um, and banged that out in about 30 minutes. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and shower and then I'll come back and show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. All right, so I am done my shower now. Um, put on just a little bit of makeup and I don't know if you guys know, um, but in a previous vlog, I think like my last cut that I did, um, I told you guys that I'm on maintenance now, so I'm averaging around like 125 to 127 pounds. So my maintenance calories, I went to like a macro calculator. So I'm eating around like um, 1950 calories, about 240, 250 grams of carbs, around 118 grams of protein, and then anywhere between um, 60 to 70 grams of fat um, so I don't track every single day um, I'm trying to work towards more like intuitive eating um, just because I think it's just a, it's a better way of life in my opinion um, so I probably track maybe like three to four days of the week um, and then the other days I kind of know what I'm eating but I don't really track so it's a bit more looser um, than I normally do when I am tracking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff out for breakfast. All right, so I'm sorry for the poor lighting, um, but for my breakfast, I typically try and load up on protein. Um, it is about 10.53. Um, I was planning on trying to eat right after I was done showering, like around like 10.15, um, but I had to fix the kids um, their snack, and um, so that kind of helped me up. So, but I'm having some egg whites and I am mixing that with some baby spinach and I also I also like to typically mix my egg whites with some pink Himalayan sea salt and some pepper and after I saute that I'm gonna put that with an English muffin <laughs> Here is my first meal of the day. Um, if you guys don't already know, I do practice um, somewhat of intermittent fasting. So I got up this morning at seven o'clock and so it's about four hours later. And typically that's what I do on the weekends. And then on my um, work days, it all depends. I do usually still wait until like two to three hours before eating my first meal. But if I do get hungrier because I'm doing more work, then I will end up eating earlier. So here is my breakfast. I actually meant to do um, an omelet style, but I forgot and I started scrambling it. But here is an open face English um, sandwich. I've got the uh, spinach sauteed with the Himalayan pink sea salt like you saw and the pepper. Over here I have about 92 grams of the red grapes and then half a cup of strawberries. I will go ahead and include the macros on the screen for those of you that are interested. 
and I still have my first cup of coffee that I'm nursing here. So I am going to go ahead and finish this and I'll see you guys when it's snack time. Okay, so it's about 1.53, so it's almost 2 o'clock and I'm having my second meal now. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but um, I made this in yesterday's video when I did a grocery haul and cook with me. I am having lemon chicken with asparagus. This is like um, a stove top roasted with some quinoa and brown rice. And I get these packets from Aldi. Um, they're the 90 second one. And it is very convenient and healthy. Um, one cup of this is about 250 calories, which is what I'm having. And then my chicken is about six ounces. And then I have about a half a cup of asparagus. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. And then I'm gonna head outside and finish painting some knobs in my daughter's bedroom. right now and we're getting ready to have dinner soon hopefully in the next hour around 5 30 so I went ahead and prepped some stuff so that way that can get cooking we're having burgers tonight so I'll go ahead and show you what we're having with that for our vegetables we're having sliced zucchini I went ahead and seasoned this with pink Himalayan sea salt and some pepper and just a little bit of olive oil and then we're having some seasoned fries this doesn't look like much because it's basically for my husband and myself. Um, my kids, for some reason, really are not very fond of french fries. I've tried the seasoned fries, regular fries, waffle fries. They're not really a big fan. So I'm going to go ahead and get this baking and then later on we'll go ahead and grill the burgers. <music> dinner looks like um, we have oven roasted zucchini with some french fries and then I'm trying out instead of having beef patties I'm having these Hawaiian brand chicken patties and these are from Aldi and the macros on here are pretty decent it has 210 calories and 9 grams of fat the other burger that I normally have um, has about like 20 grams of fat so this is a huge difference it's got seven grams of carbs and a whopping 23 grams of protein. And I am having a brioche bun. We tend to prefer this versus the regular hamburger buns. These are really good. Hey guys, so I am back inside now. I was just outside with the kids for a little bit. My daughter is learning how to ride training wheels. So we're in the driveway, just going back and forth. Um, it's about seven o'clock now, so I'm getting ready to have my little nightcap. Um, and... I have this in my grocery haul from the other day, but I found this from Aldi. Um, this is the dark chocolate with almonds. Um, I am not a big fan of dark chocolate, but I had one of theirs that had orange and almonds in it, and I was a huge fan. It was delicious, so a friend of mine actually recommended this one. So I'm going to have um, a bar tonight, and the macros on here are... Let's see, three blocks is 170 calories, uh, 12 grams of fat and three grams of protein. And that will just be enough to satisfy my sweet tooth for the night. I did forget to mention that I ended up consuming about 1,885 calories because I was tracking um, to show you guys what my macros were for each meal and what snacks. Um, of that, 225 were from 
carbs, 108 was from protein, and then um, 60 grams were from fat. Um, but I will go ahead and include a little um, video from my fitness pal just showing my snacks, breakfast, lunch, and dinner so you can kind of see the breakdown of everything. But um, my fitness pal, if you're not already using it, I would highly recommend it. Um, it's a great tool to track your calories, your macros, especially if you're trying to cut or if you're trying to gain um, whatever your fitness goals are. And that concludes today's full day of eating. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some good ideas as far as breakfast, lunch, and dinner is concerned, and snacks too. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you end up trying any of the meals that I had in the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.